Welcome back to this month's Milton Market Update. We're going through the latest market stats for Milton and letting you know what we're seeing in the Milton real estate market. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button, especially if you're interested in Milton real estate, the Milton community, and of course, beautiful homes. November 2022 saw the average overall price for a Milton home rise about 4% over last month. However, average prices alone doesn't capture the full market snapshot with the extremes at either end potentially skewing the data, especially when there are fewer sales to report. We also looked at the median price, which is down 2.2% over last month in Milton. The average property days on market is relatively flat, sitting at 29 days, and the months of inventory is sitting at 1.4. Milton is still performing well, especially when compared to the other pockets that make up the Halton region. There were 91 sales reported in November, which is down 53% from the 193 sales in November 2020. It's important to remember that 2021 was a banner year for real estate sales. Of course, the seven Bank of Canada interest rate announcements that we've seen this year, coupled with the uncertainty on where prices are heading, has many people thinking about their purchase before buying and waiting to see what happens. Notably, we are down on the number of new listings in November. 156 new listings came onto the Milton market in November, which is a 19% decrease from last year. Inventory will be a big component to watch for moving forward. The interest rate increases have had an impact on the Milton real estate market. It seems as though we may be close to the end of the tightening. Economists suggest that we are very likely to see one or two more increases next year. The next scheduled date for announcing the overnight rate is January 25th, 2023. Historically, this time of year is slower. Add in the lack of supply, high interest rate environment, and the sheer cost of living has many people waiting for the new year to make a move. With the rising interest rates, we may see some distressed sellers, especially recent speculation investors or those coming up on short-term loan financing. If you are having concerns, speak to your bank or mortgage professional. We have heard that some banks are allowing mortgagees to extend their amortizations until the renewal, and they're working with you during this tightening cycle that we're experiencing. New research from the Bank of Canada finds that variable rate mortgages now account for about one third of the total outstanding standing mortgage debt. This is up from about one fifth at the end of 2019, which leaves a larger portion of homeowners directly impacted by the sharp interest rate increases we've experienced this year. The rate increases and inflation costs are also impacting builders. And despite Ontario's new More Homes Built Faster Act, which was passed into law on November 28th, there have been several rental and condo projects that are being canceled midway through. And this trend could last for several years and further intensify our lack of housing availability. The 2021 census released by Statistic Canada revealed since 2016, the town of Melton grew by a total of 21%, bringing the population to 132,000, with targeted numbers of 238,000 by 2031 and 335,000 by 2051. So Milton is growing and will continue to. So the big item to watch in the new year, we believe will be inventory levels, both from a resale perspective and new projects being released. If we continue to see large immigration numbers and lower new starts for construction, along with canceled projects, the issues with home ownership won't be fixed by interest rates alone. With this historically being a slower time of the year, we have many clients expressing the desire to wait until the new year. January and February will be months to watch. With the spring market historically starting in the later end of February, if you have plans to buy, sell, or invest, the time to start planning that is now. Get in touch with us at hello at sbrec.ca. Okay.